Hello friends and welcome back. A couple of months ago this new radio popped up on the marketplace uh, found pretty much all over. It is the Quan Shang UV-K5. It came out to give a big run to Baofeng's UV-5R. You have seen lots of reviews online. You have seen a lot of reviews and comments on different forums, different boards, and different groups and everybody seems to be talking about it. Uh, it's an interesting little radio. It's about the same size as the Baofeng, only it does have some additional features which make it a little bit nicer than the Baofeng UV-5R. Uh, it has a larger screen. No, it doesn't change colors, but yes, it does have a nice screen. It's very legible. It's got pretty much all the same functions as the UV-5R. It does have a bigger knob, obviously, to get it going. Uh, one of the nicest features is that you can actually charge this with a USB-C cord directly. You don't have to put it in the cradle. Um, one of the things that came out is, does this work on airband? And how is airband reception? I live close to an airport, and you can actually see right there on the screen, I have one of the runways set up on this radio. And to be honest with you, the quality is pretty bad on the reception. And this has been kind of very scratchy, very noisy, can't make much out of it. It is AM and it does receive AM, it does switch directly to AM, so it does work as far as that's concerned. You do see the signaling coming in, you see it light up, but it's very scratchy and you really can't make anything out of it. So not long ago, Quan Shang came out and released a newer model called the UV-K6, which has also been labeled as the UV-K5 between parentheses 8. Not sure what that is or what that means, um, but it's a little bit different. Actually, they've modified the body style. I, I kind of like the new body style. It looks a little bit better. Um, the shape is a little bit nicer. And they did away with some of these uh, funky little positions they had. They kind of did a cover on the screen. The screen is now orange as opposed to the original bluish gray screen. No difference otherwise. It's the same screen basically. It's just the color that has changed. So the backlight has changed. They have changed the buttons a little bit. The A and B buttons are a little bit nicer to work with. Pretty much everything else is the same. So pretty much all the features are the same. Now, I been trying these two radios for quite a while. I have actually set them up at different positions for the airport, different runways or tower, and I really can't find any difference between this one and the old one. So reception is just as scratchy. It's almost just as bad. I can't seem to get anything better. I've even updated the firmware on this one because when this one first came out, Quan Shang website did actually have an update for the firmware. So I immediately updated. Now I don't know if this firmware is the same firmware that is now in the K6 because it's exactly the same thing. Now I've taken these outside. I have sat in my backyard and tried to get reception out of them and I still can't get any difference between one and the other. They still sound just as scratchy. They sound just as bad on AM. Everything else on them is fine. UHF, VHF is fine, GMRS, ham bands. But whenever you get anything on AM band for air band, it is really bad and really scratchy. So you really can't make anything out of it. You can hear, but it's certainly not something you can set up and just sit and listen to. I've even gone as far as to change the antenna on this and put an Agoya 701 antenna on it and a 771 antenna on it, the 15 inch one, to try and get better reception. Uh, does it pick up a signal a little bit better? Maybe just a little bit better picking up on the signal, but again, no difference. And side by side, when I have both radios on the same station, on the same frequency, and try and get a signal, they both light up exactly at the same time. Same signal, same scratchiness, so 
I can't make a single bit of a difference. Now, I don't know if Quan Sheng is going to come up with a new firmware for this model. Possibly, perhaps. There have been some additional firmware packs online where you can actually go from like 18 megahertz all the way up uh, on this radio. I have not had a chance to test that yet. I am thinking about it. I don't know if I want to do that. I'm not particularly interested. I was more interested in the airband just to, to see what, you know, what I can get on the airbands. Um, one of the only things that I did notice is kind of nicer between these two radios. The little light up LED up here is much nicer on the Q6 than the Q5. Actually, the Q5, the LED is kind of like hidden back here. It's kind of hard to see when you get a signal. It doesn't normally light. Of course, the screen lights up, but you don't see the little LED for transmission or reception. Whereas on this one, it's a lot more visible. Um, is it worth it? I don't know. When these came out, they were about uh, $25, $28 when they came out. And then suddenly when this one popped up, they were going anywhere from $30 to $45 on AliExpress. Now these have dropped. These are under $30 now. And these have dropped to under $20. So is it worth the money difference? Well, I don't know. Appearance-wise, I like this one better. Functionality? Uh, they're pretty much the same. I, I really can't tell a difference. There's there's pretty much no difference on the audio. They're both just a scratchy. Um, I don't see a better signal. Yeah, I like the orange light. Oh, okay. All right. I'll admit to that. But that's about it. So, I don't know. You guys decide. Now, if anybody has... Uh, equipment that they can test these radios and see for spurious emissions and if one has a better signal than the other or a cleaner signal than the other because the K5 came out and somebody did some reviews on it. VHF was pretty clean on it but UHF was not. It had a lot of spurious emissions so um, anybody else that has both radios or that has the equipment to test and see what emission is like out of this one perhaps it's a cleaner signal and that might definitely make it worth it. Is it a competitor for the UV5R? I still think so. I, I kind of maybe maybe we just got bored with the UV5R. We we kind of kind of got used to it and got tired of it. So this is this is a fresh face. Of course, the UV5R now has a new version that's out. Uh, I'm not sure I want to get it because most of the new radios I'm getting are now newer with airband, bigger screens, color screens. Um, so it's your choice, your decision. Pick up either one of them. I think they're fine as a little radio for what it is and what it's supposed to do. Both of these radios are fine. So that's it for today, folks. I appreciate your checking in. Uh, I'm not going to go through the usual stuff, you know, thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that. You know how to do all that. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.